Hello, I am Nicole Cusick. As a teacher, I have been trying to embed more multimedia lessons into my instruction. As an instructional design student, I have learned there's lots to consider when doing so. One resource that has been particularly helpful is Multimedia Learning by Richard Meyer. Meyer details several principles that can be applied in multimedia learning environments. I have simplified these principles into three quick takeaways that you can apply instantly to your design. While I hope this is helpful, I do recommend reading his book for all the details. The first thing that struck me about Meyer's principles was the less is more concept. We are, we are inundated with media today that is designed to engage all of our senses. It is flashy and fast paced and can be overwhelming. With learning, you want a simplified presentation that syncs the content with images that will allow you to reinforce the learning, not overload the learners. The more you throw at learners, the more they have to process. This takes away from their ability to focus on the content. A few simple ways to help simplify your content are avoid using text when information can be auditory, focus the learner's attention, use space to organize and connect concepts. Focusing the learner's attention is key to Meyer's principles. It is also important to not overload the learner with too much input. Thoughtfully developed cues can be helpful. There are several ways this can be done to help students by previewing materials such as key concepts and new terms, segmenting material to allow for processing and task completion, using spoken words to convey content so that students do not have to use processing power to read material. The key is to help the learners focus the information so they don't have to process too much information at once. We as educators know that students need to engage and connect with the material in order to be able to learn the material. This is also true in multimedia presentation. By using relatable language, comfortable body language, in developing authentic application of concepts to help learners relate to the instructor and the content. We can make our content more engaging. By using these generative techniques, we can remove barriers that will keep the learner from engaging with the material. It is important to note that these principles should not be used in isolation. It is the sum of the parts that makes a multimedia lesson effective by keeping these principles in mind and developing an overall product that is both engaging yet not overwhelming, multimedia educators can develop effective lessons that will help students comprehend and process information. Hopefully you find this information useful. I have included links to Meyer's book below and welcome any tips, comments, or suggestions you have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.